Hello. Um, no one's here yet. Oh, Deb. Hello, Deb. Deb. Oh, good. Cool. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I don't really know too much of what I'm going to talk about. But I've got my coffee, which is the main thing. Um, I've got these little sticky dots. I just got them from the news agency, so I've stuck my phone to my computer. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, so we'll see if they hold up or if my phone's going to fall down. But um, I just wanted to say hi and um, catch up with everyone, um, even though you can't talk back to me. Um, so what's been going on in, in my world at the moment is I've got... Um, a party on the go. It just started today. Hey, Cheryl! <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've got a party and I'm doing a new script, which is really, really exciting. Um, hi. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop saying hi because then it'll just be me saying hi and that's not a very interesting broadcast. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've got a new party going at the moment. I've got one of Rochelle's party scripts, which is... Um, it's exciting to do something different and the last few kind of parties that I've done I've done my own script and um, I use the same script for a while and then I kind of get bored of it so then I just make up a new one and that's been really easy to do with the new catalog because there's so many um, new wraps to talk about and the autism awareness wraps all kinds of things like that so um, it's really good to mix it up because you know I don't know how people feel coming to my parties, um, whether they can sense that I get bored, like not that I'm bored, but um, that I've kind of done this before. So I like to, uh, yeah. um, I like to try to change things so that it's interesting for everybody and that I really am engaged. Like. I use Cintshare, as most of you know, and that's, um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Don't you love it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, yeah, I use Cintshare, so I schedule all my stuff for the day. And if, if I'm doing a game that's a lot of slides, like, um, I guess the whatever, when you've got, like, ten different slides. Look at this. Just <laughs> what do they call that when you position something in a movie or whatever? I don't know. It's like positional marketing or something. What? <laughs> I knew that that was going to happen. Okay, we're good. Um, product placement. Thank you. Yes, I knew it was something like that. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I used to share a lot to schedule everything. And then I also... Um, this would probably help, wouldn't it, if I did a few buttons up. That's the problem with breastfeeding a baby. You forget that your buttons stay undone. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I sent share, and even if I um, sent share all the games as well, um, I still then then when they're playing, I'm not going, oh, where's the where's the slide for that or whatever. So I just I still engage when it's active, but um, yeah, I'm sorry, this is really blah, blah, blah. I don't have a, a real list of things to say. Um, so I'm using this new script, and it's really exciting because it's not what I have usually done. It's, I normally have a kind of set thing where I start off at the start and I tell people how many wraps are in a sheet, why wraps are good, you know, no tipping, that kind of stuff. I give them the basic rundown and then I go, hey, here's from the runway or here's graphic punch or here's the junior wraps or whatever. But the um, script I'm using by Rochelle, it went straight into True Shine and um, we haven't even talked about what's in a sheet yet. And I, oh, I'm hoping that's going to be engaging um my phone's slipping again <laughs> okay don't this is what i've got these don't work on computer screens with phones <laughs> lesson learned um so yeah it's really good to have a new script what else i've got in the go is the sydney bridal expo i cannot believe that i'm doing a bridal expo in sydney um I just can't believe it because, you know, I tried to, um, I tried to find something close to home because I'm a SA girl, I'm from South Australia and lots of, um, 
lots of the stuff, all the stuff I could look for in Adelaide's already booked and more power to the girls. Good on you for being more organised than I am. <laughs> um, but I wanted to do something out of my comfort zone, out of, out of, sort of out the realms of possibility. Like if you had said to me a month or two ago, you're going to have a stand at the Sydney Bridal Fair, I would have just laughed my head off and gone, you are crazy, certifiably crazy. But um, flights are booked, accommodations booked. I've just got a new stash of um, business cards from Vistaprint. I went with the new design and I, they just arrived today and I'm so in love with it. I've previously gotten the Jamboree print shop ones, which I also love, but they're kind of expensive to <laughs> these new sticky dot. Alright, got my hands now. So they're kind of um these are the Jamboree print shop ones, which I put a um <laughs> I put a shampoo there. A seven day so then I don't have to do seven day challenge cards. Um it just cuts out one more thing for me to do because I feel like there is lots to do. Um, getting your mani packs, your petty packs, your host packets, your opportunity packets. I feel just in that alone there's a lot to do so I like to cut corners where I can and, and kind of multitask. Um, another thing I need to do is get my eyebrows waxed. Look at that, that's horrible. Don't look at that. <laughs> so new cards for Sydney where I have gone with a similar design. I've just used Vista Print. Yeah, it might be a tough crowd. I'm hoping. I've got um, Jodie and Tamara coming with me, so I'm hoping we'll be okay. Fingers crossed. You don't know if you try. and um, No, you don't know unless you try. So um, give it a go. Well, if The worst thing that will happen is that I got a trip to Sydney paid for by Jamboree, so win. New cards from Vista Print. This is just one of their templates, and I just typed over the top of it and put in the Jamboree logo and put in this little divider bar here for all the rest. That line there, that grey there, that white there, that's all Vista Print. Good. I got these, um, I got 500 for like 20 bucks or something because I had a flash sale one night, um, you know, buy before midnight and you get 40% off. I don't know what it was, but it was awesome. It was so, so awesome. So that really cuts down the price of business cards because my plan for the expo is to take... Um, 500 packets with me um, and in my packets I've got I don't I'm still waiting on supplies so I hope they turn up in time if they don't plan B gotta love plan B always improvise um, so I'm going to have host join because I'm denied about putting this in but I like because it's got the host rewards and the compensation plan I don't need to show you you all know what it's got in it but it's just a little um, a little bit extra I'm also putting lollipops in because that's just bribery. Why wouldn't you? Um, something, I'm trying to think of what else I was going to talk to you. Do you ever do, like when I was saying to this to Tamara before, when I'm in the shower or when I'm in the car, places where I can't write notes, I get all these ideas of things I could say, things I could do, how I could word things, and it's just brilliant. And then I get here when I've got a pen and paper and I have a blank canvas in my head. So, um, let's see what else I have on my list. Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, I had a party host. She had a party two or three weeks ago, not very long ago. I feel like I only just closed off and that she's only just got her host rewards. But she um, contact me, contacted me yesterday and asked when she, could she book again. So I was like, yes. But it was also like, Huh, because I didn't want it to be too soon because she's just utilised all her friends. They've just got their orders, so just give them a month or two. But I also didn't want to say, no, we'll have a party later because, you know, you got to strike while the iron's hot. So I said to her, how about put your thinking cap on and think about what's going on in your community at the moment and or what is um, close to your heart and come up with an idea for a fundraiser. So that's what we've gone with so far. Um, she's still just thinking over it, mulling over um, the options at the moment, but she's um, thinking of a fundraiser. There's a family that's had um, new holiday wraps. Not new holiday wraps. Do you mean the Mother's Day ones? Mother's Day would be a good fundraiser, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm.
I don't know what you're talking about. Doesn't. Oh, Mother's Day. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, she would really like the June host wrap, and I think that is going to be so popular. I love it, and I know that a lot of people um, are going to go crazy for it. As soon as I saw it, I thought of a friend and um, messaged her, said with with the picture from the host rewards chart said, what do you think of this? Done. Booked a party. Easy as that. So if you know someone who, who you think is that kind of their design, run with it. Go for it. The worst someone can do is say no. And they're not saying no to you. They're not saying, no, I don't like you anymore. I don't want to be your friend. Uh, just go away. They're saying, no thanks. I'm not interested in that product. They still love you. It's okay. Don't take the no's personally. And it's, I know when, um, when you've had a few no's, it start it does start to feel personal, and it's hard not to go well stuff this like no one wants them. I'm done. See you later. Don't do that. Just keep keep chugging because it really you'll get a yes. I promise that you will get a rest a yes. Yeah, they do retire. That's a good point. Um, and some of them like it doesn't matter that it's not the holiday. Like who cares if Valentine's Day's gone already? Some of those little love heart ones are so cute. I love love letters. I should order some. That's the only way I've gone active this month is by placing orders for myself. So that's kind of sad. Um, but them's the breaks. What are you going to do? Um, and if you have a bad week or a bad month, oh, low battery. That's going to that's gonna put a time on things. Um, if you have a bad week or a bad month, don't worry about it. Just keep going because I promise you, as long as you keep going, You'll, you'll get there in the end. Um, it will improve. You know, that, that's life. Is No one ever has a good time every single day, every single week, every single month. So that's going to be the same in business. There's going to be ups, downs. What is going to make a difference is who hangs on will be there at the end. If you don't hang on, you, you won't. Colour crush. I have not sold a single one of those. No one's interested in my groups. Something on my to-do list is to do a VIP group. I've never done that. I, I went for my business page instead, and that's, it's okay. Hmm. It, it's a lot of work. Business pages, I find, are a lot of work because you're trying to keep your audience engaged, and that's almost a business in itself, isn't it? To try and run a business page and keep engagement and keep trying to forecast what are people going to click on? Are people, have they had too many um, pictures of me wanting coffee lately because, you know, I do a lot of those um, so I think yeah yeah exactly I think it's going to be easy to engage in a VIP group and they know that they're there for Jamberry like they're not um, I mean you can still post memes and stuff still be funny and like awesome but you don't really I think um, the way Facebook have their algorithm set up is that um, groups pop up more in your feed than pages do, especially if you've turned notifications on. It's more likely to pop up in someone's feed rather than um, try to battle it out with um... Yeah, yeah. That's like a full-time job, I feel like. I feel like it's really hard to predict what um, Facebook's... like. What are they going to pick up on and what are they not going to pick up on? I've tried... Um, I've had... In February, I wrote out a full month social media strategy um, to do a mix because it's the eighty twenty rule, isn't it? Like you've got to um, you've got to talk about your business twenty percent of the time and talk about everything else eighty percent of the time, so that you're not all check this wrap out, buy this, buy that, blah blah, blah blah blah. You need to talk about. You need to what you need to do besides getting your thoughts in order is to. Brand yourself. You need to market yourself because people are falling in love with you. Everyone's selling wraps. We've all got the same wraps to sell, don't we? Mm -hmm. Make them fall in love with you. Make them, make them think, oh, she was so nice. Or, oh my God, we had the best time at her party. Oh, you know, she does, she, she goes that extra mile. She sends birthday cards. She sends thank you cards. She sends, hey, how's it going? Without... Hey, how's it going? Do you want to buy this? Um, just, just, just be your gorgeous self, and they will like you. Um, yeah, that, that's what that's what these businesses about. We hear it time and time again. 
um, that it's about relationships. It's, it's not about selling. It's about building relationships. And that goes, here is your pearl of wisdom for the day. That is with everyone you come in contact with, whether it is someone who wanted a seven-day challenge card and that's it, or it's with your upline or your downline. It's about every single person. It's about the people that support when you call them and go, oh my goodness, what happened with this or I can't find that. It's about every single person you come into contact with as a face of Jamboree or like an online presence, not face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you you work under Jamboree, but you're your own brand and you're responsible for the image that you put out there. People remember how you talk to them. They remember what you said, especially if you said something bad. You know something else that's a very bitter pill to swallow and you kind of get ashamed about if you haven't followed up or you haven't posted out that petty pack that they won on time? Say, I'm sorry. But it's okay. You can. It's better to say I'm sorry than just post it and forget about it. Say I'm so sorry. I I should have you know done this better or whatever. Um, people know that you're a real person. That life happens. You know, own up to it. Just own it. That's the wisdom for the day. Um, I don't think I have too much more anything constructive to say. I don't even know if any of this has been constructive. I promise. Here's my, here's my, um, like, what's the words? Oh my God. This is what I'm going to do better next time because <laughs> I don't have the words is I'm going to make this much more structured. Um, my, my reasoning for doing this is I was planning on writing a blog for my team and just blogging about, you know, just little tidbits that come into my mind and my mind and think, um, especially when I started out going, where do I find this? What do I do for that? How do they do that? Um, so and I don't really have the time to write a blog. Plus I like the different media of, of you seeing me and hearing me with my messy hair, my no makeup and my hairy eyebrows. So, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so this is like, you can't read it. But it's a list of topics I had written down for a blog if I would ever do one. So I'm doing this rather than a blog. So next week, I promise that I will um, not be fumbling around with my words so much. Oh, I shouldn't promise that. I will try not to. Um, and that I'll have a more structured topic to talk about. But in the meantime, you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to have my coffee. It's just cooled down perfectly enough to drink. Have a good day and I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh. Okay, try again. Bye.